Hey guys, Rob Bush up here in the garage playing with the window motor. Um, what I did is I've made some mounts for the Hall Effect sensors that adjust. Um, obviously the bottom can move one way eventually on a plate, but then you've got an aluminum rod with another acrylic piece with the uh, sensor drilled through it. Nothing's magnetic there except the sensor. But what this allows is some fine tune adjustment between the magnet on the plate and the hall sensor. And by adjusting that I found some really interesting effects. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. What we've got though is the Arduino. Um, we're running off the uh, Makita 14.4 volt battery on half a circuit still. Um, the Arduino and the circuit communicate on the breadboard between uh, the Hall Effect sensor and uh, this drives the uh, circuit. Um, the coil the discharge um, connects to the coil, the drive coil, and across that is also a bridge rectifier. Um, just typical Bendini setup. And you can collect off that and so forth. What we'll do is we'll be sending it to the uh, LED 110 volt replacement light and uh, we'll see and then I have some interesting effects so what we gotta do is uh, get her to spin up a little bit everything's going here you can see that the LED is now lighting I'm gonna be moving this around now what I really want to show you is on the scope so let's set this up here And I think okay. Can't really see the spikes here that dark, but we'll tune. There's some bigger spikes here. Now. In the reference there. Oh, darn it. No. no. Way too close. Okay, we can see the uh, the light there. Let me. Uh, there we go. That's more better. Uh, the probe's now on uh, 10x. So each of these are uh, 50 volts. You can see these spikes up top here. Let me just make sure you can see those in there. Alright. Now that's actually what's powering that light. When you take them off, it goes up a little higher, these spikes. So the spike is usable. But what I found through the placement of the hall switch is we can tune that right out of it and actually increase speed yeah, you can see the spike got a little smaller, the LED is still slightly lit okay it's gone same poles, same everything, just a different timing on when we trigger the motor. So the spike is gone. It, I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> but when we look into it, let's go back to 1x. Kind of shows us when we're, where we're firing this. You can see down in here, that's our fire. And it interrupts in there. And for whatever reason, there's no back EMF or that spike. It's either being consumed into the next spot or it's completely eliminated. I don't know. But uh, I thought that that was pretty interesting. And uh, let me show you. Uh, can we see that any? Yeah, there we go. You can now you see those fires. 
that's when the motor's actually firing and it's uh, the Arduino is telling it to fire for one millisecond every time that magnet passes that trigger but let's show you what it looks like when you're actually getting the spike and that lights on now you can see how it interrupts it so much but then you got these large spikes the motor's a little slower like it's uh... like it is back EMF so once you get it tuned to that fine point you lose the back EMF I guess and uh... I imagine it would increase on some kind of efficiency But that's uh, the scope shot is right at the uh, the coil itself across the coil, the drive coil. That's the only one that's hooked up in there. But I thought that was kind of interesting there. Why it does that? I wanted to share that with you. You know, the uh, the next step is to. Uh, when it's uh, in this mode it gets to about 2000 RPM but the next phase would be to I've got the uh, other sensor made up and uh, we'll get the other side hooked up and mimic it and see what happens and then I also want to try adjusting how long that fires I'm thinking once you find this sweet spot see maybe how much and how little you can pump the uh, the current in there and adjust that. We'll, uh, it's the whole purpose of trying to use the Arduino and make things adjustable and yet still a little more precise in the timing of things. Anyway, this Rabush has been a Bendinho progress update. Peace.